everyone, this is Melissa with thestockswish.com. This is QCOM. This is one of the Stock Swish Show's Play of the Days here. Uh, it's about 12.30 Eastern Time, and the stock is looking like it's going to possibly set up again still this afternoon. Morning play is done in this. I still like this to continue lower this afternoon, however. We'll have to see if it can hold up into the afternoon period. It's early here to get into an afternoon trade. Usually the best time uh, to watch for a re-entry in something if you're going to do it on a higher time frame is about 1, 1.15, 1 2 o'clock-ish. But this actually looks good. So let's go over the morning move in Qcom. Let me go back here. So Qcom rated very well. It was a great gap. Set up, dropped, broke, and fell off a cliff. And it actually went down immediately in the first move to the first target, which was great. Now, QCOM made an attempt in here, this is right around the 10 o'clock period, to break down and continue lower, didn't do it. Could have done it, and I still think that this is actually lower possibly today if it sets up in the 15 minute. It has to set up in the 15 minute though. If it does, and if this sets up, but, and has enough time left in the day, which means it has to set up like in the next two hours, basically. Then QCOM could go down to the low of the day, and if it does, I think it breaks it. The next target then would be 75, and wherever it falls into the afternoon. So this has potential to set up this afternoon to go and break down again. But the morning move was great because it went right down to the first target. That doesn't happen all the time. That does not happen all the time. However, most of the gaps that rate well do make, I'd say, about 75 to 80 percent of the moves in the morning in the first, you know, half hour, 45 minutes of the day. You don't always get them to the total full-on target in that 30, first 30 minutes, but you usually get them to at least one target, or maybe the second target. In the case of QCon, this had a beautiful move to a real number into the first move, into the first trade. That being said, I still think this has potential to go lower and even more into the afternoon. It's early here now. It's 1230. This is actually holding a lot of the weakness. It could have held the weakness stronger into the late morning uh, lunchtime period. However, the market is holding up on the day strong. And so QCon had a pushback here. You can see it here. This is all the short covering happening here right around 11 o'clock. Here it is. So what this needs to do, if in fact it is going to continue lower in the day, is pretty much hold 77. If this rallies over 77, it's done for the whole day here. It can't go over 77. If it does, it won't make it back down to the low or break the low of the day. So, so far it is, though. That's the interesting thing here. We'll see where this leads. Nice, beautiful golden gap on QCOM. Quick, fast, short into the morning period. Could have done this aggressively. The gap rated well. It was a nice play in here, a nice call by me. Uh, Melissa with the Stock Swoosh. And anyone is interested in learning how to trade gaps, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. I teach a class on how to rate the picks in the morning to determine what things are the best things to watch to shorten the day. And the picks that I had here today, there were two that worked extremely well of the top two that I picked. And uh, QCOM was one of them. Really nice move in here in the QCOM. Has more potential in it. It's still early yet in the day. If you want to watch this, it can't go over 77, though, or it's not going to work right in the afternoon. So that's the number to watch. I still really like this lower, and to be honest with you, I'm sitting here watching this myself. I don't always take um, afternoon entries, but every once in a while, you'll see something that has potential to pay you with risk to reward with the full-on target, and then you can watch it. I mean, then that's, the reason to do something in the afternoon is because the stock still has target left in it and risk to reward. You need the combination of those things in order to to really decide to take a late trade, I think, unless you're already in something and you're letting it uh, continue down. This is Melissa with the thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everybody. Have a fantastic afternoon. QCOM could set up here in the afternoon if you know how to play it and want to watch it. Beautiful short here in the morning, fast, beautiful gap. Nice quality golden gap here. It's Thursday. Earnings season is in full swing right now. From now until all through the end of August, tons and tons and tons of stuff to do every single day. You could do as many things as rate uh, according to the 26-point rating system. This is Melissa with the thestockswish.com. Email me if you'd like to sign up for the Gap class this weekend, July 26th and 27th. Tomorrow's a deadline, however. Uh, again, this is Melissa with the thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.